So here's what you call a high target environment. All of these green streaks across here, those are all fish. You can really see them over here on the active target. And look at some of these. These are big fish. These are amberjack down here. So I'm gonna show you how we're gonna get those. If you look at the screen here, there's some down in like 30, 35 is the top of them. So what I'm gonna just do is take this Berkeley bucktail jig, hair jig, put a live shrimp on it. And I'm gonna just take and put it in the water here. And I'm gonna sweep my rod down to try and get in that right zone. So here we go. I get it running beyond my splice knot. There's a leader on here, so there's a little knot. What I do is I just count one, full sweeps of your rod. Let it tighten up, two. So it's about six feet each sweep. We're gonna go down about five to put it right on top. Three, four. As soon as I get this fish on, which I'm pretty confident I know I will, five. I'll hand the rod over to my partner here, or the, the camera. But then I'm going to just take and give it short little hops like this. So it's sitting right above him now. We'll give it a few short hops. And there he is right there. Oh boy, the old carnage just doubled over. Let me hand this, hand this camera off here. <laughs> That's how you do it out here. The jig just drops down. I like to keep it a little bit above them at first and see if I can entice one to come up out of the school to bite it. The good thing is, is once you get one to bite, that school really gets excited about eating. This one don't feel real big, but it'll work. We've been catching some really good ones. Buddy Kevin Martin is with me today. He just got a nice about 40, 41 inch or fatty. This one on camera, he doesn't want to be quite as big. But the nice thing is, is if you're out here and fishing these jigs, always think about changing water depths. If you drop it down, like if I would have first dropped it down and knock out a bite right away, you know, jiggle it a few times, I would sweep it one more time, drop it down another six feet, jiggle it there. Still don't get him, drop it down again. And if I get all the way down to the bottom doing that, then a real key thing to do is when it's down close to the bottom, you just reel as fast as you can six times. And that rips that jig up off the bottom. And a lot of times they see that happen and they just can't stand it and they'll come up and bite it then. So I'm just trying to switch water column depths a lot. Look at how this thing bit it here. Again, not a real big one, but little ones are with the big ones. That's how you catch them on a hair jig.